The British and Irish Lions were last in New Zealand back in 2005. 12 years on, they're with us again. And there's great anticipation and excitement in the air as the 10-match tour is about to kick off here in Whangarei tonight. there was going to be domination up front they were going to put us under so much pressure when they come to New Zealand and all of a sudden this Barbarians team they were the ones that came out of the gate fast and this, this Lions team they just they didn't dominate in any part of the game we could actually uh, see a little bit of tightness in their performance you know and uh, I know it's early days it's, uh, for them they'll be looking at it as just a starting point for them another first now before we kick off the Blues for the first time stand together for a hucker 
their own. Hetoa Takatini. My strength is not just my own, but it is the strength of many. Hetoa Takitini, a haka in parts of, inspired by the memory of former Blues Jonah Lomu and Curtis Hayu, composed by Fidia Meltzer and Ruka Makiha, led by two of the younger players in the team, Sam Nock and Ihaya West. Setting the stage for this match. shadow and the smoke in your eyes. I am the ghost that hides in the night.
just beginning I say goodbye to my weakness So long to is going to react to this Lions defeat. Are they going to pile the pressure on or are they going to doff their cap to what was, certainly in here, perceived as an improved performance? Yeah, absolutely. It was, a, yeah, it was an improved performance from Whangarei against the Barbarians. I mean, to be, let's be honest, like they did enough to win that game. And in the end, the X factor with the Blues, with Luatua, Sunny Bill and Ehi West was the difference. I mean, you talk about the line-out that they had in the last moments of the game. They nail that. It's a different story. Yeah. SQ, to bring you in as well, we're talking a lot about individual performances uh, back here in studio. Who caught your eye out there today? Who really stood out for you from a Lions perspective? I thought CJ stand-up uh, played well. Uh, I hate to disagree with the boys uh, in there, but I thought the stand-up performance, especially in the second row, was Courtney Laws. I thought he was magnificent this afternoon. Uh, you have a look at the defensive line-out, uh, our own line-out. He was all over the park. Oh, huge amount of energy uh, in there. Uh, so those two guys really did stand out for me. You have a look at the set piece. I thought the scrum was good. They got two penalties from scrum that, where they, they got points from. Uh, the disappointing aspects of it was, uh, I think, Ken's last throw. He won 11, lost one. It will be a little bit Support with that, and of course, the last line out. You know, those are your pressure points, those are where you can win games. Unfortunately, that went away from them. They'll be disappointed uh, with that. There's a huge amount of work on uh, for, for the Lions, and uh, you know, it's going to be a tough tour. We knew that it's going to be about the three tests, but these are where you build character, find out a lot about yourself. <laughs> Takino Tekawa led by Sean Wainui. An historic occasion all round tonight as the Crusaders unveil that very special haka for this evening. From the bow above the eastern coastline, inland to the west coast, Auraki Mount Cook at the centre. It is us, the brave Crusaders. And if the crowd was not excited before that, I can assure you they are now. Without love, pain, I can't get enough pain. I like it rough, cause I'd rather feel pain than nothing at all.
I think um, probably the most pleasing thing is there's plenty more to come. Uh, we still had a few errors, but uh, I just think you've got to look at the improvement week, week in, week out. Uh, from the first game to now, we're a completely different side and we're going to be a completely different side again come next week and the week after, and we're going to build nicely into the test matches now. Good evening, everybody. Yes, as always, conditions are perfect underfoot. Uh, the Southerly came through today. As predicted, it is very, very cold here in Dunedin and inside the stadium. It's going to heat up. There is plenty of electricity in the air. There is ah, perfect conditions. We wait to see how the British and Li Irish Lions choose to use those in tonight's game. Yes, a completely new starting 15 from the team that played in Christchurch a few days ago. Led out by Captain Sam Warburton. He's had just over an hour on the field so far on this tour. And he really needs to prove his fitness with the test match, the first test match not too far away. But what an opportunity. And a very measured entrance from Luke Whitelock and the Highlanders. And they will be led out by Alex Findlater. The Dunedin, Dunedin City Pipe Band. So now, the Highlanders and their Scottish-themed challenge to the British and Irish Lions, bringing out the Claymore, the significance as the Claymore is handed to Sam Warburton.
guys are uh, disappointed that we put ourselves in a position to 22-13 you know, to, you know, to control that game and win it. And the unfortunate thing is um, we've probably shot ourselves in the foot, haven't we, with uh, some turnovers and some, some penalties towards the end of the game and, and have allowed them the opportunity to, to sneak it from us. So, you know, we're disappointed. But uh, and there's some big moments, some key moments for us that, that we need to learn from. Um, and to, to improve uh, and make sure that you know we're, we're better next time that we we take the field. And I think the big lesson is our know, New Zealand sides they keep playing for 80 minutes and they keep going for the full 80 minutes and and that was the you know the, probably the big um, learning that the, some of the players got from tonight. You know every team's different in terms of the way that they play and and I thought um, you know we probably learned to, a little bit tonight in terms of you know, I thought our kicking game was excellent on. On Saturday, and then the Highlanders tonight with their kicking strategy stressed us a little bit from a game point of view. It's again, it's another big step up for us, another another big learning opportunity. And like I said, it's about building for a couple of weeks in that first test match. And uh, so we would have, you know, we would have got a lot from tonight as well. years ago they performed it in Hamilton and it inspired them to a famous victory. Timatanga providing a passionate powerful prequel to this much awaited game. If you aim for the skies you will reach the mountain peaks. A challenge to themselves as much as it is to their opposition.
and it's been about ourselves improving from game to game and up against you know every match's absolute quality opposition and you know we're learning from those experiences um, and and benefiting from the opposition that we're playing against so again another step up tonight and um, you know really good performance we looked at a few things at half time was a couple of stupid penalties in the first half that were, were costly I think we only give away one penalty in the second half um, I thought our game management was was excellent in, in the second half we probably played a little bit too much between the, the the tens in, in the first half when the conditions weren't right and you know it's hard to get sort of forward momentum um, particularly early on in a game because everyone's so pumped up and and fresh and and in the second half I think we went there and we squeezed the life out of them and we squeezed it up front and we got them behind them and and, and created some opportunities um, and so you know it was a, a pretty clinical performance um, I thought defensively when you look at the quality of the attacking quality of their back line um, and speaking to the players afterwards, they didn't feel under you know under any pressure at all. They didn't feel like the Mary were uh, were able to stress them at all. And their, and their one tries really from a speculative kick that's got a lucky bounce. So, um, you know, we can be pretty proud of that performance. But we know to play the All Blacks and beat the All Blacks, there's got to be another step up. And you know, hopefully, we'll see that in the next next week. Magnificently led by Hika Elliott, the Kaya of the Chiefs Haka, a declaration of their identity and the people of the Chiefs region they represent. And the Lions fans respond with a chant of their own. Great atmosphere here in Hamilton. A stirring haka as a prequel to this match to be played in magnificent conditions.
Special to score any try in a line shot. Um, you know, it's not just for yourself, but it's for the boys that are putting the hard work before. You know, a lot of that is unseen. Um, so for me personally, to be able to finish them off is, is pretty special. You know, the three biggest games, four games left, three biggest test series now coming up. Um, it's all about momentum. You'll feel the buzz in the camp after a win. So, you know, as long as we can carry that going on, it's, uh, it's going to be good. Oh. First test in the Lions series in New Zealand. You know, I don't think they get much bigger than this. And, um, you know, for the whole 20, match day 23, I think it's uh, an exciting and the, the the touring squad as well. So you know it's, it's down to us to go out there, put a performance in, and um, get a result. Over the last couple of weeks, we've gained some good momentum. Um, the group of boys, you know, we get on very well, and um, you know it's making sure that it's not just like the the playing squad, but everyone involved, you know, we, we've all enjoyed each other's company and, you know, this is like the business end now and, you know, it'd be great for us to start this series off with a victory and, you know, putting pressure on the All Blacks. You, you don't know how, um, you know, they, they're going to line up as a midfield, um, but I think you've just got to make sure that, you know, the, the abilities they have in the back line in total, you have to make sure defensively that you switched on and you don't have any... Um, kinks in your armour so you know the preparation is so intense that you you cover all bases really and um, I think it's um, you know it's a, for us defensively as a unit it's an exciting task and I think something that um, you know um, Andy Fowles again is you know prepared very well for. Ladies and gentlemen boys and girls could you please remain standing for the singing of the New Zealand national anthem Signing the national anthem on the big screen is Tuhoi Henry and to sing the New Zealand national anthem tonight, Moses Mackay.
Atmosphere, tension, you name it, it's here. Moses Mackay with the New Zealand national anthem. As the All Blacks now line up to do the haka, and of course the Lions will face the haka and take up the challenge. Well, Justin, plenty of passion in that, Haka. There certainly was, and the unique kapa paponga that the All Blacks have in recent years had for themselves, and they often bring it out on the big occasions. Not surprised to see it for one of the biggest occasions we've seen in this country in a very long time. There is a lot of excitement and tension in this ground.
some great chances and we played some some lovely rugby and and um, you know, scored a couple of nice tries which was a hugely positive was disappointed that we you know there's a couple of golden moments great great opportunities to score that we, we we could have taken and then we've just switched off a little bit when you know they've caught us on a, on a quick tap I thought they played very well up front um, you know they did a good job of stopping our line speed they come pretty hard off nine which was um, got them some front football and, and very aggressive at the breakdown so you know we need to learn from that and make sure that we're better in those areas um, next week in particular. Yes hello and welcome to West Bank Stadium what a night we have in front of us the series is on the line the All Blacks the opportunity to close things out here in the second test for the Lions it's about staying alive. JK is there a scenario where you see this Lions team finding a way with all of what we've seen in the last couple of weeks of winning this test match? Desperation total desperation. I think that uh, Warren's made the right changes. People are talking about Sexton and, and Farrell. I think it's the right changes. I think they'll be kicking the ball a lot more. But like Alex said, these guys are desperate. For the British and Irish Lions, it's like playing for the All Blacks. If you've come off a loss, you know, this is a big time in their lives and it is the biggest night of their lives. So they'll be desperate. So the rain is still tumbling down. No wind to speak of, which is a plus as the two teams prepare for the national anthem. Would you please now be upstanding for the singing of the New Zealand national anthem?
Signing the national anthem on the big screen is Tanisha Sleeman. And to sing New Zealand's national anthem tonight, Moses Mackay. First ever All Blacks Lions test match was played in the city back in 1904 at Athletic Park. So there's great history. All Blacks winning by nine to three. Now it's time for the Haka.
Looking good. Kicks his third penalty goal. As the players leave the field at half-time, it has been quite a sensational 40 minutes. And at the end of it, it's the All Blacks 9 and the Lions 9.
test match, I guess, for a number of reasons. Conditions certainly made it that way, made it a pretty uh, intense battle, I guess, up front, and territory became order of the day, really. So, um, you know, boys put in a heck of a lot of effort, and for the majority of the game, felt in control. Um, just a couple of key times, I guess, eh? and, you know, when you're down to 40 men, if you just don't quite get it right, they can hurt you with a uh, quality side, and that's what they are, and um, that's what happened. That's just something you've got to adapt to, and I felt we did that really well. So it's, it's not uh, why we lost the game, it was, you know, we had our chances and um, didn't quite take them, and they were good enough. You know, we were just off, I reckon, um, and it all hurt you in, in uh, close test matches. I guess in some ways it's a great challenge, so we'll look forward to next week. The boys will be hurting, and that's exactly what we feel like when, when we lose a test match. So. Um, yeah, we'll turn around as quickly as we can. Obviously look at the things that we can do better um, and the things that we did well, we'll try and keep building on those. So, um, yeah, and it's, uh, you know, that doesn't get better, I guess, in terms of you turning up to play a test match and series on the line, uh, line series. So, um, you know, we'll look forward to next week. So, a few last words for the All Blacks. We all know the record here at Eden Park. And they haven't lost two in a row at home since 1998. And a really big night too for Kieran Reid, the popular All Black captain. Tonight joining Dan Carter, Richie McCaw, Ma Anonu, Kevin Mialamu, Tony Woodcock and Mills Muliaina as a Centurion, the seventh All Black to do so. And it all started for him at Murrayfield in 2008. So salute to Karen Reid. Now joined by the remainder of the 23-man squad. So it'll be the All Blacks left to right in the first half. And as Ian Smith said, the weather holding well. Big night for 20-year-old Geordie Barrett. Had 20 minutes against Manu Samoa. And hasn't yet appeared in this series up until now. Right, standing by now for the anthem. Please now be upstanding for the singing of the New Zealand national anthem. Signing the national anthem on the big screen to Hoy Henry. And to sing the New Zealand national anthem tonight, Nick Arfoa. Nick Arthur, 
with the anthem. And now for the final time on this tour, the Lions to face the Haka.
and about to blow the whistle and he does so it's a draw and it's a drawn series wow there's stunned silence here 15 all a drawn test match Ready for extra time, <laughs> literally. Uh, so I was like, get the get the liquids on straight away. So I was cramping up. And I was ready for another. I wasn't sure if it was going to be golden points or uh, like what happened in the European semi-final with the Blues years ago, where they have an extra 20 minutes and potentially a, a penalty kick out or something. But uh, anti-climax at first. But I guess now on reflection, quarter of an hour later, so instead we come over to the World Champs, back-to-back -back World Champs. And to be honest, not many people give us a, a chance here, you know, and now um, the game's passed a little bit, I've had a little bit of time to reflect, I guess it's been a success, but I think the tour in general, from engagement with the New Zealand public, fans back home, and spreading rugby across the world, I think it's been a huge success, the Lions tour. No 